Good morning. Last week I spoke about Holy Spirit experiences of being enwrapped, filled, empowered by the Holy Spirit, healed by the Holy Spirit. Today I want to speak about spiritual disciplines and the important discipline of intimacy with the Almighty, as Chuck Swindoll talked about in his book of the same name. The disciplines of simplicity, silence, solitude, and serenity. Taking time for those things in this crazy activity-addicted world we're in, where we race, we race past the fields, the still waters where we are to lie down, as the psalmist said. We're not still, as Psalm 46.10 says. We just are not still and know that I am God, that the Lord said through the psalmist. No, we keep going, because we must be productive, or perhaps we're afraid to stop. We're afraid or we don't know that it's critical to spend time with the Lord, to open up our hearts and minds and seek Him with all of our heart. But silence and solitude are critical disciplines. And Richard Foster in his book on spiritual disciplines talks about seeking silence and solitude and how so many Christian leaders through time, Jonathan Edwards who found silence in the fields and the forests, Susanna Wesley who found silence but solitude in her busy family of 13 kids, putting her apron over her head to find time alone. These examples are ones that just remind us we need to find, we need to choose to take the time to be silent, to find solitude, to get away somewhere. Where is that for you? Have you found a place? I've spoken about my little basement devotional place where I go and I seek the Lord. But sometimes even more importantly, in God's creation, along the still waters and in the fields, along Lake Michigan, at a place called Piers Gorge, a rushing torrent of the river, the Menominee River, the upper Michigan-Wisconsin border, where in this wooded area, alone, where I can only hear the rush of nature, can I find God in solitude, or perhaps in the front range of the Rocky Mountains in Montana, where my son lives, where we can find, I can find, in the silence, in the high mountains, in the solitude, in the serenity of his creation, I find him. I find renewal. I find refreshment. I find that being there, seeking him there, is a way to replenish myself while God replenishes me through the power of his Holy Spirit as I seek him in prayer, in silence, opening my heart to him. He comes in and he fills me. We need time. We need to take the time to simplify our lives, to slow down, to find a time for silence and solitude, find the serenity that we would receive if we do that. This is God's desire for us in this life. May you find it as I have found it. Amen.